morning, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Carib Sea's Reef Tree Kit. Ha! Another big box day. If you want to create a really interesting and attractive aquascape without having to hammer, chisel, or hacksaw boulders into more useful shapes, or spend hours gluing pieces of rock together to make small structures that then also need to be glued together to make up your aquascape and just want to be able to stack some neat looking pieces in a few different combinations until you land on an aquascape that you love without having to worry about it tumbling over then check out Carib Sea's Reef Tree Kit. I honestly wish this thing was out years ago. It would have saved so many reefers from settling on aquascapes that they didn't love for the sake of getting it over with because they just didn't have like the gumption or you know creativity to really sit down and put into a nice aquascape. This is like effortless. The reef hobby has come a long way, gone are the days of boring rock walls, and now reefers have an array of inspiring aquascape styles to mimic, like pillars, shallow mounds, sparse rockwork, and negative space scapes, all of which put more focus on prime real estate for corals, habitat for fish, with less buildup of detritus thanks to better flow characteristics, with an obvious focus on the overall aesthetic the rockwork brings to the tank. The thing is, some of these aquascapes, especially the more intricate, gravity-defying negative space aquascapes, take quite a bit of time, effort, and creativity. Not everyone is up for that challenge of taking a hammer and chisel to a box of boulders, then spending hours meticulously gluing pieces together. Caribsea's Reef Tree Kit makes things so much easier by giving you a really simple method of achieving a very cool, interesting, and attractive aquascape in minutes rather than hours using their pigmented life rock so that it looks phenomenal right from day one while providing overhangs for fish, lots of real estate for coral placement with a profile that lends well to great flow and minimal shadowing. And did I mention yet that this is actually a lot of fun to do? In the box, you'll find the base rock, three arches, a small boulder, and the support rod. The base rock and small boulders are drilled with a single hole, while the arches have three holes, allowing you to offset them if you'd like to create some jutting overhangs. There are no real rules here, but a simple formula of an offset arch to one side, followed by the boulder, then an offset arch to the opposite side, topped off with a final arch, creates an easily usable and great looking aquascape. You can play around with it as much as you like until you land on something that really speaks to you. The finished aquascape will land somewhere around 18 inches tall and roughly 15 to 20 inches wide, but it can vary quite a bit based on your needs. There are also coral tree kits that have a more shelf-like appearance, as well as extension kits for building up your aquascape, creating extra height or width to your existing kit for larger tanks or for scapes that could just use a bit more surface area. Given the fact that the rocks are supported by the internal rod, it's pretty safe to aquascape right in the tank and get a really good feel for how that aquascape will look in the aquarium. Personally, I like to lay out my tank on a tabletop using masking tape or create the three walls and bottom of my tank using cardboard and aquascape there. It's a bit less cumbersome and that way I don't have to worry about accidentally tapping the side of my glass with the rock and scratching it or anything like that while my arms are dangling in the tank. Safety. Once you're happy with your aquascape, I'd recommend using some super glue gel, putty, or even 400 mortar to permanently affix the contact points between the rocks to solidify the scape. With that said, the support rod actually does a really good job of making sure that the aquascape is stable and it's not gonna tumble. So if you'd rather be able to maybe change things up in the future or just don't wanna go through the process of gluing everything, you could leave it and it'll be relatively safe. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with it tumbling. You know, just make sure that when you stack everything that it's nice and tight and you're not gonna shake it loose. If you are finding things are almost perfect, but you do wanna make some small modifications here or there to the rocks themselves, you could certainly take a hacksaw to the rock to customize it further and even reuse those offcuts in other places on the scape that better suits your goals. Or if you're finding small gaps that you want filled in, you could use Carib Sea's Frag Zone Rubble to cover those little spots in that instance, I would highly recommend using Marco 400 mortar as it does a great job of filling in the gaps naturally to make the rocks appear seamless. 
Before you go gluing or mortaring your aquascape to solidify it, I highly recommend you check out this video right here on the top aquascaping mistakes. You wouldn't believe how many reefers are still making a lot of those mistakes, and it was one of the hardest things to change. Think about it. This is in your tank supporting your entire reef ecosystem, your corals, your fish. It is not easy to go and redo after the fact. So watching that is gonna save you a lot of heartache, but I will say that this reef tree kit makes it very difficult to make some of those mistakes just because of the way it's laid out. It, it basically helps you skip past many of them, but some of them you could still make. So have a watch.